What's up, Fear Gardeners? This is KG, this is me, and we're here to talk to you about Halloween haunts. Stop doing that. Sorry. Halloween haunts and the things that would scare us the most. So I asked you, mm -hmm. if somebody were to create a Halloween haunt, so like a haunted house that you would go to during Halloween, right. to scare the living shit out of you, what would be the top five things that we would have to have in there? This is a list of our top five scariest Halloween haunts that have not necessarily happened, but should happen to scare the shit out of us because we don't get scared very easily. And we've been uh, a shit ton. A shit ton. Of it was I my first only, job. I can only think of like only a couple things that kind yeah. of creep me out. Startle scares are very different than actual like scary yeah. you scares. Yeah. So we're gonna go over our top five scares that would scare the living shit out of probably both of us. I feel like it would stick with us. <laughs> Let's hit it. So number five. Oh, <laughs> unsettling children. <laughs> So, so, like, so do we mean like teens? Are we talking kids, toddlers? Kids. Like kids. littles. Okay. Like okay. eight and under. Yeah. Yeah. Especially uh, when they're not speaking or anything and they're just like maybe there. in a long hallway or like in the shadows. Like not moving. That's kind of fucking creepy. That scares the shit Especially out. when they don't have like a recogni recognizable face. That's kind of uh, creepy too. Uh, yeah. That scares the shit out of me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like scurrying things scare me, and when kids are scurrying, like <clears throat> like little demonic kids, scare the shit out of me. I'm good. I'm good too. So number four. <clears throat> Hidden in plain sight. So this is one of mine yeah. that definitely scares the shit out of me, and it's more in horror movies, but I think that they could pull it off in a haunted house. And that is one of the things that are hidden, like, right in front of you. Okay. Like, the scare is right there, or it's in the background of something kind of like a shadow, and you're like, oh, fuck, it's right there, and here it comes, it's coming. So, like, if I walked past something that was scary, and then I realized it was there, and it was, like, right next to me, it would scare the fucking shit out of me. That's a fear. That's an actual fear yeah. that I have. I, I think that's kind of, like, the opposite of, like, a jump scare. Yes. Or something. Like, you're already in... It's, it's like more than anticipating. You know it's going to be there. You yeah. can see it coming. And there's really nothing you can do. There's nothing. <laughs> there's nothing. Especially like when you're watching a horror movie and you can see the person and something's coming in behind yeah. you. And you're like, turn around, bitch. It's right there. <laughs> Number three. And this is definitely one for Cage. Yeah. So uh, what did you have it listed as? Unnecessary faces. Okay. <laughs> unnecessary faces. So, so what is that? Explain it to me. So if I were to explain it, I would explain it as simple as this. Teletubbies. Yeah. You have the son yeah. with the baby face in it. Oh, yeah. That's creepy. Uh, if anybody watches, like, I think it's CBS or NBC Sunday morning, they always put faces on, like, sons all the oh, time. Uh, and if anybody uh, has, like, an older grandfather clock, there was always, like, a face on the moon or the sun. And for some reason, that has always fucking creeped me out. Uh, not a fan of that. Actually, one of my biggest fears is that um, there's that early silent movie called Trip to the Moon. Yeah. Yeah. There's a face on that moon, and it creeps me. Well, they, like, out. land in its eye. It's pretty iconic. Yeah. The, the moon with the rocket in its eye. Yeah. That, that stuff out of every... Oh, I don't know. I mean, there's a couple things, but that's <laughs> definitely tops for me. It, it doesn't it's not like a out. huge fear for me, but faces on things that shouldn't be there. Yeah. Uh it's kind of creepy. It's, it's like that's me. kind of an inanimate object. Yeah. But now you've given life to it. And it's always like a creepy face too. It can't just be a normal fucking face. It has to be creepy. Would it be better if it was just a normal like a person face? Yeah. Yeah. But I mean it's just it's always fucking creepy. And it just ugh, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Alright, number two. Number two is something that uh, is a big thing for us in this house. Yeah. Uh, I'm not necessarily afraid of it, but I can understand why you're afraid of it. And I think in some ways it does scare me. Yeah, it's aliens. Yeah. And when I when I not s illegal aliens or whatever <laughs> left <laughs> like when, aliens from outer space aliens. Yeah, and when, when, you know when I say aliens, I'm also talking about like gray aliens. So something that you would see like in Fire in the Sky. Yeah. Or something like that. So not necessarily xenomorphs. No, no, or like E.T. or whatever. No. no. It's like, it's mostly grays to where you're just looking in like soulless eyes and just no expression. And the idea that... Abductions and stuff? 
yeah, they're kind of just doing their thing and there's nothing you can do about it. You're just like stone still. You can't move. You can't scream or anything. Yeah. And that just creeps me the fuck out. Yeah, yeah, ever since I was a little kid. It's scary. I remember the first movie I saw was Fire in the Sky and I used to watch a show called Sighting. Oh, Sighting's a good show. they would have like the uh, CGI or like shitty animation. But it was good enough to scare the shit out of a five-year-old. And, uh... Yeah, not my thing. But aliens, as I've gotten older, they still scare me, but I'm more intrigued. Like, I love to research aliens and the uh, alien agenda if there is one. So. Yeah. But still scares shit out of me. Yeah. So if it was in a haunted house, like, it would just have to be mm. like a great alien. Oh, man. Like, coming out. Yeah. Like, I, like Close Encounters of the Third Kind, kind when they're, like, all coming out of the fucking thing, like, with the white. Yeah. Well, like, 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 even, yeah, like that. <laughs> or you can have, like, some, some, you know, some type of woods. Like, like in the woods oh, yeah. to where they're like in the shadows maybe you have the light with the fog or something or even like uh, an actual abduction like on a table being worked on like that same fire in the sky that yeah scary, scary. any any type of uh, <laughs> setting in a, in a haunted house with that yeah so number one and I think number one is gonna something that scares the crap out of both of us <laughs> just because I don't like them period okay all right, but let's just precursor this with not specific ones, but well. Well, I really don't like them all. Oh. <laughs> so number one is, is old people. Old people, man. But it's not just old, like little old grannies. Yeah. Like that's sweet. Like little old grannies are okay. It is withered, fucking old people. Like okay. So when I think of that, I think of like Poltergeist 2 with Kane. Yeah. Dude, that fucking old face. I'm good. Like withered people. Not even necessarily old, I guess, but just like. <laughs> no. 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 It's just yeah, something no. about it. They almost look like plastic or like wicker kind of. Just, yeah. I, I don't know. Like leather, like how you were saying. Uh, there's the one, Mouth of Madness, and the Mouth of Madness. Oh, when the little the boy is riding his bike, and then all of a sudden he comes back the other way, and he's like that old man with the white hair flying yeah. behind. Oh my god, I got so scared yeah. watching that movie. I literally cried. I was 15 years old. I was kind of stoned, but outside of that, I was fucking crying. Like, I was actually scared. Well, it's like kind of like the artist renditions of, like, Mother Shipton, like, the early stuff. Like, they don't really know what you look like, but yeah. they always do, like, a rendering. Creepy. Creepy old lady. Dude, yeah. creepy old people in general, but definitely like old ladies are definitely scarier to me. Absolutely. For sure scary. Like little withered fucking fingers. Uh, like witch fingers. Uh, I'm good with that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay on that one. So there you have it. If you ever want to scare the living shit out of us, there's just top five ways to do it. Uh, we should create our own haunted house with these five fears and Ooh, see yeah. how many people we could scare the fuck out of. Yeah. That would be super fun. Excellent. That would be great. Let's that would be great it. times. All right. So this is KG. This is me. This has been an episode of Fear Garden all throughout the month of, of October. I almost said it all throughout the month of Halloween. Close enough. All throughout the October. month of October. You can see us here. You can see us live on Facebook. Uh, make sure you check out the This Drunk Bitch episodes where I talk about all kinds of fun Halloween makeup tutorials and such all month long. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, like, share, spread us around the world like the fucking plague. We'll see you next time.